Hello there, uh, I am Tom Hopper and I'm going to show you what I might eat in a typical day in the house of Hopper. First and foremost, when I get up, the first thing I do, well, is take the dog out for a poo. I actually like to intermittent fast a lot, um, so usually I do anywhere between 14 and 16 hours most days. First thing in the morning is uh, have a coffee. So I use, I try to get very good coffee beans. This is from my guys over at Workshop Coffee. They're excellent. And I always like to get single origin coffees because they taste the best, but I recently tried to get off caffeine. That's not easy. Usually what I will do after I have a coffee, I like to play with the kids, play with the dog, play with my wife. What do I eat for breakfast? Well, it really depends on if I cook some the night before that I might want to eat in the morning. So, so very often I'll have like some meat and a few pecans and walnuts, things like that. But more often than not, what I have, and this is a really important bit, I have Nature's Protein Bar for breakfast. My wife, who's filming right now, comes from an egg farm. Her family uh, own an egg farm. They have amazing eggs, amazing free range. Uh, chickens, there they are. We are never out of stock of eggs. I didn't just marry it for the eggs, maybe a little bit. So I used to start my day with some eggs, usually like three or four eggs, some spinach, and maybe a little bit of boiled sweet potato. I love sweet potato, I think it's a really good carbohydrate for me. People think it's weird, but sweet potato and egg actually tastes really, really good. The other thing sometimes I have is a banana for breakfast with the eggs. Again, banana and egg. It works really well, trust me, try it. After that, I usually go for my workout, unless I haven't worked out in the morning and uh, I always feel pretty fueled for that then. So a typical lunch for me will always be fresh fish, chicken, maybe a steak. Um, I'm very particular about the quality of the, the meat and fish that I eat. So we always have the highest quality chicken we can find. That's always in the fridge. Uh, we have probably a, a roast chicken once a week and it's also really good for leftovers and you can use it for second meals and third meals. Also the dog really likes it on walks. When it comes to fish, my go-to most of the time is wild Alaskan salmon, particularly the wild sockeye salmon. It comes from very fresh waters, so it's very low in heavy metals, which is really important. You can eat a lot of fish, I think it's important to keep the, the levels of metals in your body quite low. And then that's always blended with some kind of vegetable. Boom, we always have Brussels sprouts. So much plastic these days. Broccoli, sweet potato, parsnips, any kind of root vegetable. When I cook, very often I cook with uh, ghee and I feel great on it. So that's kind of what a lunch might look like. When it comes to macros, I always used to count macros and it became a tiresome thing. <laughs> now I just eat real food and I go on how I feel. If I feel good and I feel strong in my workouts, I'm good. I might be one of those people that doesn't have a cheat meal. If you say a cheat meal, then you consider yourself that you're always on a diet, and I consider the way I live is a lifestyle. For me, I just want to eat what I enjoy, and most of the time, that's just real food. And if sometimes something is delicious and naughty, then I shall try it. And most of my supplements are based around what's gonna make me feel healthy, so um, I take uh, usually something like uh, glutathione and uh, vitamin C every day, these guys. Vitamin D, I think, is really important. Uh, we live in England, so we don't have sun all year round, so vitamin D is really important. If I've had to get bigger for a role or had to put on a particular amount of you know, size or look, look a certain way, I will take uh, glutamine and creatine when uh, necessary. If I'm trying to put on size, I might have um, some oats with some collagen and some creatine and stuff in there as well, just a bigger man. When it comes to my meat and my meat quality, like I, I hate commercial farming. So Laura, my wife, her, her father has cows in his, in his field. So he said, would you like a cow? So now I have half a cow in my, my freezer in my, in my garage, which will feed me and my family uh, for a year. So I feel you know, like I'm trying to do my bit while still eating meat, I'm trying to do my bit by not engaging in commercial farming, which uh, is really important to me. Last but not least, my staple in every meal. Extra virgin olive oil, it goes on everything. That's about it. You've seen what's in my fridge, you've seen what I put in the body, you've seen what supplements I take, and you now know I have a body in my freezer. I've been Tom Hopper, goodbye.